Hey, what is going on guys? It's Owen here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video. In today's video, I want to share with you guys the best exponential settings to use because it's been a few weeks since I gave you guys my updated exponential settings. So I want to share with you guys those in this video because these settings are the very best if you guys are looking to switch to exponential or if you guys are looking for some of the best settings to use for it. Definitely stay tuned in the video because these settings are the very best in my opinion. I think they will help you guys out a lot if you guys are looking to play on exponential. And real quick before we get into the video up on the screen i have the v buck giveaway winner of this week i give away v bucks every single friday so if you guys like to participate and enter the next week's giveaway all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel make sure you guys do hit that post notification bell so you guys get notified for every single new upload and when i announce the winners on every friday and as well drop a comment down below of either your xbox gamer tag your psn gamer tag or epic account and you guys will be automatically automatically entered into the next giveaway also make sure you guys have me added and supported as a creator in the atom shop all you guys have to do is go down to the bottom right click on supporter creator type in my creator code which is young humor hit accept just remember it changes every two weeks so make sure you guys double check that you have it in and all right guys let's go right to the video all right so in this video i want to share with you guys the best exponential settings to use that is really going to help you guys out when it comes to hitting a lot more shots because exponential is mainly used for people who want to have the best aim possible it's you can still build and edit very good on exponential but i think if you are looking to become the best builder and editor so if you guys are looking to become a creative warrior i would highly recommend playing on linear settings but if you want to focus on improving your aim and having the best aim possible i think exponential settings is going to be number one the way to go so as far as the settings that i would recommend that's going to improve your aim a ton on exponential is so i basically have two different settings to try out and so the first thing you guys want to do is going you definitely want to have your vibration off so if you're one of the players who still has it on you definitely want to turn the setting off because it really hinders your aim it makes it just builds a little bit of inconsistency so you definitely want to have that setting off so as far as my x and y sensitivity i play on a 47 percent and a 46 percent which I think is really good. It's just a slightly higher X sensitivity, which in just a minute I'll get into and explain exactly why you would want to have that. And then I have a four, a 2.4 for my building and editing multiplier. Now I think it's really important to play on a little bit higher of a building and editing sensitivity because if you're a player who plays a lot of solos or really just any game mode, but specifically solos, if you're constantly getting third partied and shot in the back, you're gonna have to be able to build pretty quickly. And also another thing you guys want to try out. So if you guys are the type of player who likes a little bit higher of a sensitivity i would recommend something like a 52 percent and a 51 or like a 50 and 49 but if you do end up raising your x and y sensitivity then you probably want to drop down your building and editing to like a 2.3 so those are really the two sensitivities i would recommend so if you guys do want a little bit higher of a sensitivity, I would recommend like a 52 and a 51%. But the reason why you want to play on just a slightly higher X sensitivity and specifically for exponential settings is going to be because the first reason is it can improve your flick shots. If you're able to aim a little bit quicker left and right, it can definitely help you out when it comes to your flick shots at close ranges. And also if you're in a box, it's going to help you a ton when it comes to turning around. And at the same time, another big advantage is because it, when you have a just slightly higher X sensitivity, when you're turning left to right when you're building, it's also going to have an effect on how fast you're going to be able to make boxes and one by ones, which can be a big deal if you're a player who does a lot of box fights or if you need to just be able to protect your sides very quickly so if you're playing a game like solos and you're getting shot from two different directions if you play on just a slightly higher x sensitivity you're going to be able to turn left to right to protect yourself a lot easier so that's why i recommend playing on the sensitivity that i do but as i said if you do want to play on a little bit higher of a sensitivity you guys definitely can play on i would say a 50 and a 49 percent or like a 52 and a 51 both being that i play on just a slightly higher x sensitivity if you want to you can play on two Two points higher but i would just probably play on one so going down into my ads sensitivity i have a 14 percent and a 12 percent so i play on a little bit higher of a horizontal speed which i'll explain in just a second and then i play on a 12 percent for my vertical so when it comes to vertical sensitivity you basically want to have a setting 
that is just fast enough to track players who are using a launch pad because usually when it comes to the vertical speed the fastest movement in the game as far as vertically is going to be people who use launch pads and i feel like a 12 percent is just fast enough to track those players because you don't want it too high to the point we're going to be missing a lot of shots so i feel like a 12 percent is that sweet spot but the reason why i play on a 14 percent as far as my x sensitivity is because it makes it 10 times easier to go in between different players very easily because there's been so many times where you're playing arena or if you're playing like duos or squads with friends and you shoot at one player and then you have to shoot at another one who's maybe just a little bit off to the left or right. So if you plan on just a slightly higher X sensitivity when you're aiming down your sight, it's going to make it substantially easier to track players left and right when they're either running across your screen or if you're going in between players that you see and maybe that are on the same team, it's going to make it a lot easier. And also at the same time, you have to be able to have a sensitivity that's fast enough to track players in boxes because the closer you are to the other player, the faster the the higher sensitivity that you have to play on because if someone's right next to you it's going to you have to move a lot more than if someone's like 100 yards in the distance because if someone's 100 yards in front of you you only have to make uh, small adjustments but if someone's right in front of you you're gonna have to play on a little bit higher of a sensitivity if you want to be able to track a player from that distance so playing on a 14 percent and a 12 percent i think is the very best as far as your ads sensitivity when it comes to exponential settings because it's just fast enough vertically to the point where you're going to be able to track people who use who are using launch pads and then also it's a little bit faster when it comes to the x sensitivity so if you're going in between players or you need to track players who are maybe running really quickly who are close to you or at a medium distance you're going to be able to do so with no problems so that's why i would recommend playing on the sensitivity that i do as far as my ads so going down into my last settings I don't have any look dampening type uh, time on, but I would recommend having this setting. If you're the type of player who thinks that, you know, if you have a difficult time hitting shots from range, I would recommend giving this setting a try, maybe playing on like a point. 0.5 or 0 0.08 could give you a big advantage from that range. As far as my dead zones, I play on 11% and an 8%. That's one of the recent changes that I made as I play on a little bit lower of a look stick dead zone because the lower your dead zones, the more responsive your controller feels, which is going to help you improve your aim exponentially. So playing on just a slightly ho a lower look stick dead zone is going to be highly beneficial because it makes your aiming analog stick really responsive and it's just going to be a really good experience when it comes to hitting more shots because you're going to be everything's going to feel uh, more in real time it's going to make everything feel super responsive and when it comes to this of course when you lower your dead zone you are going to be having a little bit more stick drift but when it comes to your look stick dead zone or your right analog stick it's really not that much of a problem and it really doesn't matter the only time stick drift matters is going to be on the move stick dead zone so your left analog stick because if you try to pop a med kit it's going to cancel it so obviously you don't want to have any stick drift with that but when you're playing a little bit lower of a look stick dead zone so your right analog stick it's going to be really nice when it comes to editing you're going to notice everything being a lot more smooth a lot more responsive when it comes to making small analog stick adjustments it's really going to be a lot easier to do so so that's why you want to play on a lower right analog stick dead zone because everything just feels so much more crisp and you're going to be 10 times more accurate doing so so that's why you want to play on a lower dead zone so those are going to be all the settings that i have for exponential and also the settings i would recommend for you guys to try out if you guys are looking to switch to exponential or if you guys are looking for some new settings to try out to help improve your aim these settings are the very best and i would highly recommend them but with that being said that's wrap it up for this video if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys found this video very helpful make sure you guys do drop a like make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new make sure you guys do hit that notification bell so you guys will get a notification when i go live on this channel because i stream solos every single day i now change the time i'm streaming i'm going to be streaming every single day at 4 30 eastern standard time which is about an hour and a half earlier than when i normally stream so make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys will get a notification when i go live on this channel so you guys don't miss it but with that being said i appreciate you guys watching the video and all right guys i'll see you next video